What's going on guys, RC and Trains here, back with another video. And this video is going to be a pretty short video, I think, as long as nothing really bad goes wrong. Um, which I don't think there is, because this is a pretty uh, uh, sort of routine th thing for me to actually be doing. But um, this video was actually suggested by AidenTube like, about a week ago, so thank you dude for the um, video idea. If uh, any of you guys have anything that you guys want me to actually do, please put that down in the comments, because... Uh, I run out of video ideas sometimes and also some of the ideas you guys actually have are really cool for the channel like this one I wanted to bring you guys something like this because it is sort of a tutorial for some of the people who may not know um, Exactly how to do this and the thing I'll be doing in this video Is showing you how to get power to flex track or just any sort of track in general But this is going to be on like a real layout not just your easy track or you know your uh, snap track on the floor this is going to be actually with two pieces of track and some joiners. So basically what you're going to need is obviously you're going to have two tracks um, and also you're going to need these which are called um, terminal joiners and these are from Walther's I believe and they're in the code 100. Alright and I just wanted to show you guys these uh, terminal re-reelers really quickly. It's basically just two wires. I separated them. Uh, here's one of them. It's basically just a wire with a rail joiner uh, sort of just soldered on the camera's not really focusing on it very well but it is just basically a wire soldered to a rail joiner and um, I'm gonna be just showing in this video really quickly how to actually attach these to the pieces of rail so I'm gonna get into that right now alright guys so we're over here at the soldering station because in this um, sort of walkthrough you are gonna be able to need the solder so you're just gonna grab your two pieces of track and I mean since I said before this is basically just a rail joiner you're just gonna want to slide it uh, onto each side like a rail joiner would. This one's being particular. Oh, there we go. Alright, so you got one of them on. Then you're going to want to grab your other one and you're just going to slide it on. And then connect it up like that. And I suppose this would work. I mean, yes, of course it would work, but. Uh, if this is going to be on your real layout, uh, you'd really want to have something extra. So that is the reason I'm going to be soldering this. And just to solder it, I'm just going to you know, get this wire out of the way. I'm just going to grab your solder, get your soldering iron right here, put it on like this, and just get a little solder going. And you don't want any on the rail, so I'm going to have to get that off. Um, that was just a mistake, but... So yeah, right now I'm just soldering directly to the rail joiner. And what this basically does is this make this is making like it's a block of solder and metal that involve or, uh, includes the uh, terminal rail joiner. So um, it sort of makes one big electrical contact. So that side's pretty secure. I'm just gonna flip it around really quickly. Here is the other side. And I'm just going to do the same for the other side. And it's a pretty simple thing, guys. It's not, not too complicated. Um, yeah, I'm just going to get some solder going. Put it all on. Yeah, and you're just going to grab the soldering iron. You can obviously smooth this out pretty easy with the soldering iron. So it turns into a nice looking thing instead of, you know, just a little ugly bubble that happens when you just put the solder down. There we go. Alright, so that's probably good enough. Um, if there's any solder on the rails, what I like to do is just grab a piece of sandpaper and just sand that down. In this case, uh, it's not too bad. You can't even see it. It just looks a little shiny. If it does bother you, uh, of course, solder, or, um, just sand it off. Uh, but, you know, for me and my uh, purposes, this would work just fine because I would be rusting the rails anyways, and that sort of little texture look would actually look good anyways. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you liked it, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.